Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to unlock the Galaxy S9 Plus. I've partnered with the unlockingcompany.com to show you how to do this, and the reason you may want to do this is maybe you've got your phone locked to a carrier such as AT&T. This phone is currently on AT&T, and if you want to use it throughout the world, on any GSM carrier really, you'll need to have it unlocked so that you can swap the SIM card. So maybe you want to use it on T-Mobile, or maybe you just want to go overseas and use it on a different network there. You can do that as long as it's unlocked. So I wanted to show you how to do that. And first we need a little bit of information. We need the IMEI code. Now previously on the phone you could do star pound zero six pound, but that wouldn't really work on this phone. So we need to go into the settings. Once you're in the settings, scroll all the way down until you get to about this phone. Under about phone, it's right here. It says IMEI. It gives you other information too, but it gives you the IMEI. We need to take that code and go to the unlockingcompany.com so that we can input it and get the phone unlocked. We're at the unlockingcompany.com and the first thing we need to do is select our manufacturer. So in this case, it's Samsung. And then the next thing you need to do is scroll down until you find the Galaxy S9 Plus. Here it is and then we'll click unlock now. The next thing we'll do is select the country we purchased it from, in this case it's the United States, and then we'll select the carrier, and this one's AT&T. We'll click next. Now this price can vary depending on your carrier and country. Now what we'll do is we'll take the IMEI and place this in, that's the number we got earlier, We'll put this in here and then put our name and delivery email and then we'll click order now. Now the average delivery time says one to 72 hours. Sometimes it's very fast. Other times it does take a week or two depending on what the actual phone is and what the carrier is. But let's go ahead and put in this information. We'll click order now. Then we'll just pay with PayPal and we'll receive the unlock code via email. Once you've gotten your email back with your new code for your phone to unlock it from the unlocking company, what you'll need to do is put that code into the phone to permanently unlock it. Now, in order to do that, you'll need to power off the phone. That's usually the easiest way. We'll just power it off here. And then we'll pop the SIM card out and put in the SIM card that we'd like to use. That's the easiest way to put the code into the phone. So let's pop the SIM card out. You'll see I have an AT&T SIM card. Let's pop in a T-Mobile SIM card. I've got the T-Mobile SIM card. Let's place it into the phone and boot the phone back up. Once the phone boots, it will immediately go to a screen that asks you to put in your PIN to unlock it from the network. And this will allow you to actually use your phone around the world permanently unlocked with any SIM card that's GSM. So we'll go ahead and put that PIN code in, but before you do that, be very careful because you'll only have 10 tries to do this or else your phone will permanently lock. So you don't wanna do that. Just be very careful when you put in the number and let's do that now. Once you have your PIN code in, go ahead and hit unlock and that will permanently unlock the phone. So let's do that now. After you've hit unlock, it will immediately say SIM network unlock successful. And then it goes back to the home screen and we can now use it on any GSM carrier we want. So let's see if it works. So you'll see here I have 4G connectivity. You'll see the phone automatically jump to T-Mobile US LTE from what I'm using. So let's see if it actually works. I don't have Wi-Fi on. We'll make sure it's, oh, I do have it on. Let's turn it off and make sure that we have connectivity. We do. And let's see if we can get to Zolotech. We'll go to a different, we'll go to Android P here, hit read more, and it should load just fine. Everything works. We can load the video and everything's working off of data. So that's really all there is to it. I'll leave a link to the unlocking company in the description below. Let me know your thoughts about them though in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.